guys, Fish Rabbit here. Welcome back to the Hybrid Room. Today we're doing a build overview of my new 700 size Roban MD500 I picked up from Motion RC. A lot of you guys have been asking about the build, what I have inside, how it flies. Um, so we're going to go over that and we're going to head out to the field after, put a flight on. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. So for mechanics, I'm using Synergy E7SC, which is torque too, which makes it a little bit easier to do a scale build. So one of the questions I got asked uh, out online is this the same size fuselage as what I built last year? Yes, I did the Roban 700 size red scheme last year. Um, I built that with, I started with an Align 700X and eventually switched it over to an Align 700E and sold that to one of my local club members who flies the helicopter this day. He loves it. Now for this one, I wanted to use my Synergy E7SC. Reason for that is one, it flies Synergy helicopters, and two, it's torque tube, so I knew it would probably be possible. Um, it's hard not to get something to fit into an MD500. I recommend for your first scale helicopter, buy an MD500, because almost everything can fit in it. Um, that police helicopter I just recently did, that was a 600 size fuselage from Roban. I actually cut a bunch of the fiberglass tail boom off, and I actually stuck a T-Rex 550 in it, so kind of like a shrunken down MD500, because I didn't want to buy a 600 or stretch the 550 up to a 600. So the MD500s are kind of the Swiss army knife of scale fuselages. Not much modifications I actually had to do to get the E7SE to fit inside here. Um, the first challenge was the tail fin. These fiberglass tail fins for the fuselages are meant to go over the bolt, bolt pattern of an Align tail case. Well, the Synergy E7SE used a three bolt pattern to hold the tail fin on to the side of the tail case. So what I did was I just modified the carbon fiber tail fin. I cut the top and bottom off and I used that as a mount to hold the fiberglass tail fin. So now the fiberglass tail fin is bolted to the tail case. So I pop this off, it's literally two screws, pop off the tail link and this whole tail case comes off with the tail assembly, which is great. Second, is mounting the mechanics inside the fuselage. And for that, they give you the plastic riser with the mounts and a bunch of wood blocks. So in this case, you just kind of level, you put shims under there and level until everything looks good, booms, you know, parallel down, down inside the, the fiberglass. Um, so I think this one, I think it took five wood risers in the back, one riser in the front, along with the plastic mounting patterns. Um, the previous owner of this E700 uh, SE, did put a taller main shaft on it, which is kind of nice because it gives it the scale look. When I did the 700X last season, the blade grips were very low to the top of the doghouse here. And I was kind of worried about, you know, if it could strike the fuselage. So I like this one, got the, kind of the scale of, scale look with a, the higher head on it. Okay, so safety recommendation, and this could have been very ugly when I went to maintenance in my side yard. Typically, the horizontal back stabilizer that mounts to the vertical fin Usually I just use five minute epoxy. I scrape the paint off and I get down to the, the uh, your plastic fiberglass for a good bond. Um, this one I don't think did a good bond because as you can see here in this video, I went to spool up and a vibration, the horizontal popped right off the vertical. Thank goodness it didn't fall in the wash of the tail rotor. It happened to fall the other way. I got extremely lucky. But um, in any case, what I did on this one was I installed, after I glued it back down to five minute epoxy, I pre-drilled it. And I used two long screws going to the horizontal and a vertical to make sure that doesn't come off again. Also, the two screws that hold the vertical side low wings on here, they are 5 minute epoxy, but also have the screws that secure those as well. So just a safety tip, you do not want this falling off into the main rotor or the tail rotor. Okay, next question I get asked is how do you put on the blade holder when the factory pot and boom boom is very small and obviously the fuselage is a lot bigger. So what I do is I take the stock blade holder and I trace out the boom shape and I just take a X-Acto knife and curve that and then that will slide right up the boom like that. In some helicopters I glued on Velcro and I do a hook and loop around here. In my case, I just take a um, thick piece of Velcro after the blades are in here and I'll just go around both of them, fuzzy side touching the fiberglass paint so you don't scrap that up with the, um, the rough side. But that is how I secure the blades on a scale helicopter. All right, so another tip and trick. All the front of these canopies on these Roban models are held on by earth magnets. 
you know, they have a pretty good grip, but I just don't want to trust you know, earth magnets to hold on the front of my canopy. I've had a 450 back in the day vibrate so bad on takeoff where it went up through the blades and just annihilated the canopy and then the helicopter was off balance and crashed. So these come with, um, I think a 2.5 or three millimeter screws that hold this on from the factory. So what I always do is just order some thumb screws and after you put on the canopy, you simply reach into the door and just throw those on there. They don't have to be super tight. They just have to secure along with the earth magnet so that front canopy can't come off in flight. So definitely recommend eBay Extreme Flight. Just, just you know, Google three millimeter thumb screws. So definitely highly recommended. So here you can see my mechanics installed here. Um, for the first few flights, I just had my batteries sitting on each side of the airframe instead of being in line inside the, the 700 uh, SE. So I'll bet you probably make some mounts to where the batteries just go right down to the mount and then one strap to hold them all. I'm not flipping upside down, I'm just flying sport scale so they don't need to be super secure. They just need to not move around and uh, shift seat and sheet, uh, seat in flight. This does have working side doors on both sides. It also came with side windows. Um, you can put those in. I decided to keep those out just for, um, I love good airflow coming through the fuselage. Cause again, you're not flying 3D where you got a lot of air passing through. You're just kind of doing sport scale flying. So I want as much airflow as possible across electronics. All right, guys, that sums it up. The only thing left to do on this build is install the GT Power Navigational Lighting Set from Motion RC. Um, you can see in my other video, I installed the little cheaper one on the 600 size MD500. I like this one, a little bit more money, but still super affordable, less than $30. What's nice, this has a programmable control board to do different light patterns. So that is the next project to wrap this build up. Um, without further ado, let's take this out of the field and put a flight on for you guys. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed my build overview and flight video on my new 700 size Roban MD500 from Motion RC. You guys know the drill. Until next time, fly safe.